Hey everybody, so a while back I created a video on how to create the best splitter designs in Cricut Design Space. Since then, Cricut has added some new features to Design Space that make this process even easier. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. Ready? Let's get started. Okay, so once you open Cricut Design Space, create a new canvas, and I'm going to click on the text tool, and I'm going to use a capital letter M, and I'm going to change this to Times New Roman. Click on that. I'm going to make it bold. And I'm going to make this bigger. So to make this easier, I'm just going to use even numbers. And you can adjust the size of this to whatever fits your project. So I'm going to click this little lock to unlock it. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to set my size to 9 by 8. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and change the color of this from black to just something else. doesn't really matter. Blue. I'm going to blow this up just a little bit, make it easier to see. So once you get this done, we're going to come over here to Shapes. And you want to use the square box with the square corners. You don't want to use the rounded corners. Use the square corners. So I'm going to click that to make a box. I'm going to click this little lock to unlock the box. I'm going to leave the height at 2. I'm going to make the width 10. Actually, I think I'm going to make that a little taller. Maybe like 2.25. Yeah, that'll be good. I'm going to change the color of that box. Let's change it to gold. So now what we want to do is select both of these objects. So I'm just going to click, drag, and select them. And we're going to come to align. And we're going to align center. So it's lined horizontally and vertically. But I want to move this box up a little bit because I want this little V shape at the bottom of the M to show. So I'm just going to click that and arrow it up a few times to about right there because once we add our lines you know it'll probably come down to here anyway all right <clears throat> so now what i'm going to do is just click on the box and i'm going to come up here to offset and i'm going to leave it at 0.25 you can make it the offset more or less if you want to do like a 0.125 it'll make the lines a little narrower but i'm just going to leave mine at 0.25 and you want to make sure on the corner, you select the square corners. All right, so once you get that done, just click apply. And it's going to create this box behind the yellow box you created. I'm just going to click on that and change the color to, let's just say orange. Ooh, no. How about purple? <laughs> okay. So now we want to just select this gold box or yellow box. And I want to click this lock to unlock it. And I'm going to come up here where it says size. And for the width, I'm just going to change that to 12. And uh, you can probably do 11. Just It just needs to be a little bit longer than the purple box. So now I need to move this gold box where it's more in the center. So I'm just going to click on it to select it. Now I'm going to click. I'm going to hold shift. And I'm going to move it over. And by holding shift, it makes it'll keep it in a straight line. If you just click on it and move it, it'll move all around. But if you hold shift, it helps you move it straight across. Um, if you don't want to do that, you can always just hit the left arrow key on your keyboard to move it over. Either way is fine because we're about to be done with this box. So now what you want to do is click on the purple box, click on the M, and we want to come down here to the bottom right, the bottom right corner, and we want to hit weld. So once you weld that together, it welds that purple box to the M. Now we want to click this M and we want to, and we want to go to arrange, send to the back. So that way it brings this gold box back to the front. Now we want to select the M and the gold box and we want to hit slice. Give it a second to process. And then we just need to delete these middle boxes here. And if you can't select that one, 
if you have hard time selecting that one, just come over to your layers palette and click on that slice result. And then you can hit delete. And there you have your split letter design. Way easier using the contour tool or the offset tool. Now we want to add our name in here. So we'll click on the text box, type in the name. I'm going to go up here to my fonts. I have this font called Black Sword that I like to use for this. There it is right there. Now I'm just going to click this little arrow on the corner, make it bigger. And I like for it to break out the ends of the box a little bit just because I think it looks cool. So you can see here there's a little extra space. So what you can do is click on the name, click on advanced, ungroup letters. Then you can just click on one letter, hold shift and click on the other ones to add those where you've got all those together. And once you have all those, you can move it over just a little bit, take up a little bit of that space. Now what you want to do is you want to weld all these letters together. So I'm just going to, while I have those selected, I'm going to hold shift and click on that M. Now I've got it all selected and I'm going to hit weld. So now it welds all those pieces together and you can see if I change the color to something lighter, you can see that black line, that little black outline is like the cut line and you can see that they're all you know, there's no cut lines between each letter. They're all welded together. So I'm going to change that, change that. And there you pretty much have it. So you can see it's much easier. So now that we did that, I'm going to do it again, just to show you how fast this really is. It's really easy. It's a lot easier than the old way. So again, we're going to click the text box, click the letter M, click the lock, width, we want to go 10, actually 9 by 7. I'm going to change the color to mm, Let's say this dark purple. Click the shape box. Get the square cornered square. Click the lock. Width, we're going to go 10 by 2.25. Select both of those. We're going to go to align center. I'm going to click this, arrow it up a few times. About right there is good. I'm going to change the color of that box. Uh, let's use that gold again. Now with this box selected, we're going to click offset 2.25. Make sure the square corner is selected. Apply. Now we'll change the color of that box to this light blue. Click on the gold box. Make sure the lock is unlocked. We're going to make that 11 inches wide. Just arrow that over to the left a couple of times. Doesn't really matter if it's centered or not. We're going to not just use it to knock this middle out. Click the M, click the blue box, weld. I'm going to click this yellow. We're going to go arrange, bring to the front. With that selected, I'm going to click the M and I'm going to go slice. Got all our pieces, click on that one, delete, delete. And this middle one, if you just want to click over here on the result in the layer palette and hit delete, it's gone. Way faster than before. And we'll use our text tool again, type our name. Choose your font. We'll change the color of that to, um, I don't know. Let's just use this light purple. I'm going to move it over here, drag it, make it bigger. If you want it to stop, you know, on the right at the edges, you can do that. Now, if you want it to be within the box, you can do that. 
but uh, I don't know. I just I just like it where it breaks out of the box a little bit. Maybe I'm weird. Who knows? I just think it looks cool. And then you can see our letters are overlapping. You can see the little lines where the letters touch. So we'll go to advance, ungroup letters, click, hold shift, select all these letters, move them over a little bit. And again, when you click and drag, hold shift, you know, to kind of keep them going in a straight line. Or if you want to, you can just, you can just select those and then use your arrow tool to arrow them over a little bit. Then I'm gonna hold shift again, select that M, weld those together. Now you can see all of the overlaps where our letters touch are gone. And that's pretty much it. So as you can see, that's a lot easier and a lot faster than the old way. So anyway, I guess that's about it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Also make sure you click the little bell icon to turn on the notifications so you'll know when I upload a new video. And if you want to follow me on social media, all the links are in the description below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you later.